Uh, my name's Freddie. Um, I'd say my favourite moment at the Contemporary of the last five years is probably the uh, Klaus Faber show, um, which thought was really varied and just yeah, amazing show basically. Hello, we are from YMCA Dijon and our favourite thing about the Contemporary is we bring all our young people here to see all the good art and we do some big performances here with our young people where we showcase our music and YMCA Digital loves the Contemporary. Thumbs up guys. <laughs> Contemporary a few years ago when I came to live in Nottingham for the first time and um, I was still looking for sort of my spiritual arty home and the Contemporary is a little bit like that so it attracts really beautiful exhibitions and a whole host of artists have displayed their work here. It's a really nice place to come. It's quite wonderful and inspiring. I really enjoyed it and it's an interesting eclectic mix that we have before us to enjoy this evening. It's just accessible art, isn't it? Uh, I've really enjoyed the high heat and stuff that you had on um, recently, the, uh, the voodoo stuff, which was more kind of my leanings, really. But it's good just to come and see new art and see what's out there still. Um, as an, I studied contemporary art at Nottingham Trent, so to come here, it's like a continuation of that in a lot of ways. Um, we're just first year students. We've only been here for about a month so far. Um, but it's nice to be in a new gallery, a new space, and an opening night as well. So, yeah, enjoy being in London so far. I remember the, the windscreen wipers over there. Yeah, they, they were certainly something else. For me, I really loved the cat bus. I was involved with a learning disabilities project, and we brought some of the learners to the gallery, and they were able to really engage with the exhibition, and they got to sit in the cat bus. So and it was just brilliant seeing a group of people who wouldn't normally come to the gallery really engaging with it and enjoying themselves. So that was really good. You wouldn't normally come across, like, an Iranian artist. Yeah, so stuff like that was, you know, you just wouldn't normally come across. And it's just great to be able to wander in and see some of this stuff. Yeah, it makes a big it difference to, like, living in Nottingham, knowing yeah. that this is here, actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think if um, the workshops in here uh, they, they, they can like give us chance to work with different people and then um, we can have like work experience on our CVs and stuff and um, we can go to the events held in here and meet new people. Yeah, well, I really appreciate the, the value of having this space here in Nottingham um, for my grandkids, really. I mean, um, every time there's a new exhibition, we bring them down, you know, they range five to eight to eight. And uh, they're always quite amazed by it, really, to see that um, people can create things which are completely out of the ordinary, and other people come and look at them. So it, makes, it kind of increases the potential for their creativity, I think. I was in the year above Leela. Yeah, we did the same course, the fine art course at Nottingham Trent. So um, having the contemporary here, right in the centre of the city, all the exhibitions are free, was a real asset while we were studying. Yeah, definitely all the extracurricular um, activities are on offer, like the, the talks and the study sessions. Oh, yeah, and the even, talks are fantastic. They really are good. And, and the, um, the, the study room as well, like the reading room, where you can just, it's like better than going to the uni library if you just need a little quiet place and some nice resources to go to. Um, my favourite thing about the contemporary is probably the exhibitions. There's always really good curation and the display is spot on. I think one of my favourite exhibitions is somewhat abstract purely because it brought together so many amazing artists and the public um, reacted really well to it. So. Well, not only the art, but the fact that they have live music on and stuff as well. It's, um, it's a good place to come, not just to look at the exhibitions, but also to just come and chill with your friends and discover new artists around Nottingham. A night uh, called Cocktail, which was a kind of bizarre kind of day glow uh, pop-up nightclub um, that they had on in the space and um, it was really kind of heavily themed uh, and lots of kind of candy coloured um, glow in the dark um, vinyl and posters and they had these incredible uh, cocktails, which I think also glowed in the dark. Yeah, multifaceted experience that you can, you can go visit the art, you can have a few drinks, you can relax, you can have some food, you can have a bit of a conversation with your friends. That's what I really enjoy. It's kind of, I don't really, ha I haven't really known much about these um, exhibitions that I've come to see. So it's kind of just seeing something new and unexpected, I suppose, and then 
discovery, I think. I think my favourite moments are when we have a new exhibition. It doesn't really uh, matter what the exhibition's about, but in the beginning it's always exciting, particularly if you've got the artists to bring you around. Um, other favourite things would be, I think it's uh, works of art that you learn to live with over the, over the months of the exhibition. I think it was the opening when you had the David Hockney. That was so amazing. And it was so, the space that it was put into and the space of the new building it was the first time we've been in. For me, that was the standstill moment of the whole five years. I've been since with my grandchildren and I love some of the hands-on things that you've put on for them and they've really enjoyed it too. And I think what the gallery gets right is the fact that it is a gallery with good work in that and yet it invites people in to take part and to enjoy it. I think my favourite exhibition has to be um, Huang Yongping and Wei Shorki. Um, I think Wei Shorki's um, Cabaret Crusade is one of the most amazing pieces of work I've ever seen. The best kind of curation I think would be um, the Al Aqsa Park video and um, Huang Yongping's um, Minera. The combination of those two together, I think I'll never forget that. The great thing about being at the Contemporary is um, there's a, a changing pool of gallery assistants, but they're all involved in the creative kind of industries in some way. So either artists or musicians or writers, curators. So it's a great place to network, but also the Contemporary has always been really supportive of kind of artists within Nottingham as well. What's been fabulous is all the activities have been um, really inclusive for all the children. So it's not been loads of writing or anything like that. And because we're working mixed age groups, they've all inputted into all of the little activities they've done. Like being a performer, designer for events, distributor, promoter, family greeter. But what I love most about it is being a professional zebra. Woo! <laughs> Oh, that is awesome. Well, I certainly enjoy bringing the children to events like this. I like making this because you like you get to build things. Although it's a very short period of time I can spend looking, um, it does allow me to have a little look and the children to appreciate art, and then they can come and do it. So it sort of it gives them somewhere to to play as well. So. <laughs> Here is really nice because you get to do all these things like building and crafting things and look at um, the art. And I really like art, so that's why they like coming here. Lots of things to do and there's always new things to try. There's something different to come and see and to have a look at. Um, something that you've probably not seen before to make you think about things. I've enjoyed the fact that you have, have to get all the material and create a, a thing to put in the garden. I would say that it's amazing. I thought that you were just going to have to be watching things, watching things, but then when I got in here, it seemed really interesting. You got to make things.